Hi, how are you? I hope you've been well. Today's summer inspired look is going to begin with the Ben Nye cream palette that I have. I'm going to be using two shadow palettes today. Both are ones I've created from scratch. This first one is by Inglot Cosmetics and the second one is by Ben Nye. I lost the clip of the color I tapped into, but a bright red cream to start off this look. Go extremely above and beyond here. This is going to be a very graphic look, so don't be afraid to be dramatic with this one. I use a deeper red tone here to define the outer V. Creams blend beautifully, so just keep on blending. Then I go in with a deep red shadow. This is one by Ben Nye. It doesn't actually have a name from what I can see, but any deep red shadow that you have will do. And I'm using this to set the deeper color that I just added from the cream palette. This red shadow by Inglot is more of a shimmery one, but I am using that to set the lighter red portion that I've done because it is on my brow bone and it brings a little shine i guess to the look for my next color in this look i blend in the brightest red i have with i think the brightest yellow and obviously that creates an orange and i do lift my brush near the end of that swipe to make it look like it tapers off kind of like a dry paintbrush effect and i set that with an orange that i have by inglot again any orange shadow you have will do I'm not just setting it though, I am making it darker in places as I go because I do want it to stand out a lot. For this next step, I take that dark yellow there with a flat applicator brush. Again, all the products will be listed below, but whatever you have works just fine. And I low-key sloppily apply this. There is no smoothness to it, I wanted it to look rough. And then with a slightly bigger applicator brush, I take that light yellow shadow and I set that cream. With a deep blue from that palette, because that palette didn't have a teal, I take, I swipe, I make dramatic, you can see what I'm doing. And because I do have a teal shadow, that's what I set this look with. And I do make sure to kind of buff out that teal shadow so it gives the impression of the teal on the skin that doesn't have the dark blue. Kind of like a halo of teal to give an impression of teal. Because I didn't have the cream, if that makes sense. I've taken a lighter shimmery blue here to make accents and because I've used it on top of the teal, in some lighting it looks like a bright teal, which ended up working really well, but again, whatever bright or shimmery blues that you have could work. And I do apply that to the inner corner but only on the blue section of it and it brings it out and it makes it pop. The liner that I'm using here is the Sephora Black Ink Fine Line Felt Liner. I'm exaggerating a winged line and I'm sort of exaggerating it in a way where it is a graphic liner, but not overpowering the shadow if that makes sense so you can still see the red the deep red underneath it but we're deepening it more with that black liner and i'm taking it underneath that inner corner because i don't know i was just seeing what could happen if i did that and i ended up liking it it just added to the graphicness of this look I then take my regular crayon liner, which I use, that'll be linked below, and I line the inner lines of my eye to really make that bold. Okay, so I've taken my Better Than Sex mascara and I've, well, made chaotic mess of that outer corner of my eye. With this mascara technique, there is no rule. I have done it as chaotic as possible, neither of my eyes match, and that was kind of the point. I wanted it to look messy, fun, 
and in the photo that I was getting my reference of there were two little cherries on top so I just that's why the black was added and it was kind of like a garnish to the look if you will and then I apply mascara like normal to my upper and lower lashes and apply lashes on top of that at this point I realized I forgot to actually bronze so I go in with my matte Laguna bronzer by NARS and I'm just contouring here like I normally do and the blush that I'm adding is an ambient bronzer by Hourglass, but I'm not sure which one because it's all rubbed off at this point. And I just blend all of that together like I normally do. This lipstick is new. So it's called Blankety by MAC. I actually got it for a wedding, but I really, really like the color. So I'm applying that today. This is by Fenty Beauty. I can't remember the color off the top of my head, but it will be written below. And I'm using this to do a very light contour because I have small lips and it'll look really flat for me if I don't do that. And because I'm not using liner, I just, it felt right, you know? That is the final look. I really had fun with this look. This is my favorite color combination and I'm glad I finally did something with it. This look was again inspired by a cocktail called Tatooine Sunset. If you're interested in seeing more, consider subscribing and I will see you in the next one. Bye.